Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of the Masterpiece Collection from Toinami Robotech. The New Generation Volume 3 Lancer VFA 61. Woo! That's a mouthful. Alright, let's go ahead. I love this. Uh, the Masterpiece Collection, they're cool. That's Lancer, that, uh, what do you call that, cross-dressing dude. If you remember that, so I'll show you the picture. Uh, yeah, I mean... I don't know which one this is. It figure did come out in 2004. So there's the new Macross symbol. As I mentioned before, Toy Nami. Yeah, 2004 Harmony Gold. That's the people that released uh, Macross over here. Here's the inside. Uh, just like anything else, you got a Bat Lloyd and Fighter and Guardian mode. Gerwalk, whatever. It's just an Alpha Veritech Masterpiece Collection, Volume 3. Lancer's VFA 141 or 61. <laughs> VFA 141 is a squadron mate of mine. Uh, yeah, they're a fighter squadron. But hey, there's a certificate of authenticity number 3057 of 1500, 15,000. So hey, good, good on me. There's the little Macross symbol. So yeah, I love the book design. It's really neat. And if you want to, there's a little slot in the bottom here. So if you wanted to take out the the package it just slides out so yeah no problem all right let's go ahead and look at the figure very neat looking figure and then this is like mostly die cast this is one heavy figure I'm not gonna lie so uh, it comes with a pilot put the little pilot in here it just pops in and out there's a little tab in there a canopy opens up so good to teach attention to detail has a sticker sheet uh, so on top of that, yeah, man, it has like a ton of stickers, and I'm not applying any of those stickers. Yeah, I'll show you. Right. So if if you want to do it, here's the instruction booklet. Yeah, I don't have a pair of tweezers or patience for that. Uh, speaking of the instruction booklet, that's pretty much it right there. Uh, there's good old Lancer, Robotech story. I mean, he's not as effeminate as he was in Genesis, Mospita, Neon, or whatever that was. The third one, Mospita, Genesis, there's something in there. I know those things are on there. I'll, I'll look that up later. <laughs> so, yeah. So, instruction booklet, really well detailed. I like this scene right here with the Batroid. Yeah, that one's nice. Uh, so, yeah, da -da -da. I like uh, Susan Graham or so, Sue Graham, and they got these little whatever they are. J Men. Okay, cool, whatever. <sighs> Great attention to detail. I like the molding. Uh, it's it's not any type of fighter that I'm aware of. You know me, I work on E2C aircraft, so it's not a fighter. Uh, I like the fact that that is actually like a missile, the pod gun. Uh, kind of neat. Very heavy die cast. And, uh, the wheel wells right here as you can see pop out this is the landing gear so you can see the landing gear it's really flimsy you really don't need that the front the nose landing gear is much more uh, indicative of what it should look like so here we go like that uh, I, I popped this off when I was doing transformation so I left it off so good detail you can see the macro symbol uh, the wings over here which I'm gonna pop down so that's a side view uh, I don't have uh, my other macros I I think this is smaller in scale, or maybe the fighter itself is smaller in scale. I don't know. Uh, you can clearly see the, the dude's head from underneath, but good detail here. I love the th intakes here. Uh, thrusters are kind of weird looking, but hey, it's pretty good. You can see the, uh, maybe you can't, but I'll show you that later. Uh, thrusters here, thrusters here. So it's, it's got quite a bit of detail. I'm going to put the tail wings down. So just for transformation, because we're going to put them in Batroid mode. And first step we're going to do is just swing this out. And yeah, it's these joints are tight, man. Not going to lie to you. I'm going to snap off the legs. And the legs are freaking huge. Yeah, put the uh, landing gear back in. And yeah, you know, that's a good thing that that popped off, because we're going to need that anyways. And it does come with a few extra things. Okay, the legs just rotate 90 degrees, or actually just like that. Oh yeah, here's a number so you can see it's number 3057 of 15,000. All right, and just gonna pop up the fingers, and I love the fingers are really well articulated. 
Okay. I think I'm missing a step here, but that's all right. It looks good. I mean, it is what it is. So, let's see. No, looks like it's about it. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, the wings have to go down, so that will allow the hands to, yeah, there we go. Move that down. Yeah, and that's good. This is necessary, too, for transformation. So, can't get this arm out. Well, we'll work with that. Fingers come out, no problem. Looking good. So, yeah, very girwalkish, very heavy. So, pop that out right there. And if you, it comes with a little gun clip also just like that and the instructions do say that there's a yeah I mean there's no doubt he can grip it put the right on the stock All right, there we go the stock is there there we go Ugh. maybe I don't need that there we go so he grips it pretty well standard go girl walk mode put the landing gear up I'll put that later on forgot the landing gear so yeah very standard girwalk mode looking good and there's this little pod over here that supposedly there's a tab right here and I think it goes in here somewhere can't really see a portion for it uh, I'm gonna put it there for now it goes in there somewhere <laughs> so uh, yeah I can't see it I don't see a tab if it, if it goes somewhere I don't see it Oh well, it's there. I'm not worried about that. So there's your mean Gerwalk mode. Uh, Batroid, what do you call it? Guardian mode. Alright, so just like anything else, let's go ahead and transform this. Oh yeah, I forgot. It comes with a little few extras. This little case, missile casing, whatever that is. And, oh I forgot. On the hip joint itself, it does lock on. So you kind of have to see that. I'm not sure if I can see that. That's alright. Eh, I'm not worried about it. Also comes with this tiny, tiny uh, cyclone. You remember that small motorcycle? Well, that's what that's supposed to be in a store somewhere, and I'll do. I'll show you that when I transform them. Transformation is not bad. Let's get the gun pad out. And what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead. Move. Okay, move that up. Let's move the head down with the landing gear. And there we go, landing gear down, click, click. And the front portion is on two swivels here, so it's pretty good. I'm gonna move that down for now. So, hey, it's almost transformed. Anyhow, uh, move this down. Uh, take the pilot out, I guess. Yeah, Ugh. there we go. So yeah, here's a little tiny pilot so you can see. Not huge amount of detail, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, so move that down. This is the head, cranes down, voila. <laughs> you know I love saying that word. Voila. All right. Still can't get this darn thing pulled out. There we go. Much better. Okay, all we have to do is just move these individually forward. 90 degrees. And this one is tighter on this side. But it's a good looking robot. There we go. Clicked it in. Um, yeah, looking good. Looking good. I love the detail in here. It's asymmetrical as you can see the head. I'm really not a big fan of this thing right here. I don't know why they had that but I like the metallic red there and it is loaded to bear with missiles. Uh, I believe the little pilot can go in there. Actually I believe this is where the little cyclone goes. Yeah cyclone storage. Yeah that little tiny thing supposed to be a motorcycle. Great attention to detail might I add. Yeah, the pilot could still be in there. I fold it, uh, as you can see, the little front wings over here. I just fold it so it neatly folds in the back. Um, kind of. Also, uh, I forgot to mention that this piece right here should, and I'm saying should, go over here. So if the pilot wants to rest over here, it certainly can. So that's where that piece goes. I'll, I'll put it back in there. Okay. Uh, it doesn't tie up in the back any this thing, the big piece right here. And the wings are kind of weird on that way. But if you want, you can fold the wings back over here. Uh, makes it a little more neat appearance because it, it is heavy die cast. Great looking figure, I must add. Uh, the shoulder joints do move out. Let's see what else. It doesn't move too much in and out, but it does swivel at that point. So you got 360 degree bicep swivel. And with that, 
wrist swivel over here. And I want to show you that the individual uh, fingers are articulated. So you have a thumb swivel and an index finger. The index finger also is good for gripping the gun pot. And three individual fingers on the bottom over here. So that's good. Here's the little gun pot. So he's... I'll put that in later. So there's your articulation on that. Has a single jointed elbow, bicep swivel already mentioned, uh, waist swivel, which is good. Head does swivel, has this weird craning motion, but it's for transformation. Let's see. I know he's loaded for bear with missiles. He has 64 missiles, and I have yet to find all of them. Oh, I thought that was one. Yep. It... Oh, that's the landing gear. Oh, right here. Oh, man. Uh... We should have bought something. There we go. So yeah, the legs have missiles, and there's more. I know, probably had missiles up here. Yeah, there's missiles all over the place. It, there we go. Missiles on the top over here. So, and do I have missiles here? Yep. In fact, they slide out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Something like that. You got missiles over here. So there's a lot of missiles. He's got missiles to spare. Where was that in the articulation? The legs are kind of weird. They're jointed out, in and out. Uh, swivels up. A weird knee joint doesn't barely move, but you can if you want. There we go. Move that up, move it down. Gives it a little bit more. Uh, big, huge <laughs> foot and a little ankle pivot here is for articulation. Heel spur as well. So the foot is necessary because he is one heavy figure. Good looking. Uh, yeah, stretch that out there. Yeah, so he is one good looking figure. Let me just go ahead and show you a quick size comparison. I showed you the gun pod already, the extra points. So, uh, as far as I'm seeing, he is slightly smaller than a Voyager. So, we're looking at this. Here he is, here he is with Megatron. So, he's short for a Voyager. He's stocky in the sense. Let me put him when Bandai's, or sorry, Hasbro's Jetfire which you know these old figures just to show you yeah. there we go yeah he only comes up to jet fires waist so he is short he is really short but good looking figure I mean I was really impressed with this very very nice looking figure if you can find it <laughs> hard to find man hard to find give it a good 8 out of 10 for this thing Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch y'all next time.